Hello and welcome to the video on configuring a PPTP VPN server with local authentication on an edge router. Now I want to preface this with PPTP is not my preferred VPN method. However, it is uh, quick and easy to set up on the edge router. Probably the quickest. Um, it will literally just, once you get the hang of it, just take you probably a minute. So uh, we're gonna go over the steps that we're gonna we're gonna follow. We're gonna SSH into our edge router, or we could actually go into the CLI button, and we're gonna go into configure mode, and then we're gonna set it. And I'm gonna explain each one of these lines. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna SSH in. and now we're at the command line so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go into configure mode so we're just going to type configure and hit enter and you'll see edit here so that shows us that we are in configure mode now if you don't know uh, this is the username you're logged in as and this is the uh, this is the host name of your device So we're in configure mode. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to type set VPN PPTP remote hyphen access authentication mode local. So that tells the v, uh, the PPTP uh, VPN server to look at local users instead of out to like a radius server. And I'll put these, I'll put all this in the description. So we just enabled local authentication mode. So and the next line is actually going to add a user to the local database. So and we you can you could add another user and we'll do that. But the first thing we'll do is we'll we'll put in the set VPN PPTP remote hyphen access authentication local hyphen users. Username Willie password capital L E T M E I N two zero exclamation point. So now the user Willy with that password exists. So now if we come in here and we change this to John, oop, and we'll use we'll leave the same password. This is for demonstration purposes. We paste that guy in there, and now there is a, a user named Willy and a user named John. The next thing we're gonna do is we are going to define the uh, upper and lower IP addresses so we're actually going to define the pool so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to say where the IP address pool starts and this pool has to be in in the pools pool of IPs available to your edge router so our local subnet on this edge router is 192.168.1.0/24 so the IPs that we want to hand out are 1.99 through 1.101. So we're going to configure the first side of this. And it's set VPN PPTP remote hyphen access client hyphen IP hyphen pool space start space 192.168.1.99. And then we're going to find the upper limit. And then instead of start, it's stop. So this is where we're going to stop handing out addresses. And then we are going to hand out a DNS server to the client along with the IP address. And you could actually have multiple addresses in here. We're only going to use the one. And the command is set VPN PPTP remote hyphen access DNS hyphen servers server hyphen one and then we're using Google DNS which is 8.8.8.8 .8 and then we are going to commit sanity check looks like it's gonna go through And you'll see that it starts the PPTP daemon, 
and then we're going to save. And that's actually going to write our config file so when we reboot, it is there. And so now the PPT, PPTP server is ready to take connections. And you could, uh, right now, the way we did it, you could connect on any IP address on the edge router. More than likely, you're going to connect on the outside IP address. So if it's dynamic, you could do uh, dynamic DNS and connect to a host name instead of an IP. Or if you've got static IPs, you could dedicate an IP for that. So if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe. And we're going to keep pumping these videos out. Oh, one more thing we might take a look at here. Let's see if we can take a look at what's going on with this. So if you want to um, see your users, after you've done that, you can do a show VPN PPTP remote hyphen access authentication local users. And it will show you all of the users that are there. Um, just in case you forgot what, what users are there. So feel free to get comfortable with the command line. The command line on the edge router is really powerful. Once again, if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe and we'll see you in the next video. Thanks.